Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. My name is Maddie, if you don't know me. And today I'm going to be coming at you with a book outlet unboxing. Um, so, so I ordered these books like several months ago and had them sent to my house. And I am home now so I can finally order them. I have literally no idea what's in this box. Um, like I said, I ordered it months ago. I kind of forgot that I had it. And then I came home and it was just sitting on my bed. And I was like, wow, <laughs> thanks past me. Thanks. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get into the book haul. I dare to open it just to like save time. Um, so the first thing that's in here is the $5 off coupon, which is really nice. Thank you so much for including that book outlet. I will be using this. Oh, the tissue paper. There's actually not that much tissue paper. That's cool. Um, so the first thing that I see here is And I Darken, um, which is, I think it's by Kristen White. Um, it doesn't have the dust jacket on it, which is kind of weird. I'm pretty sure I ordered it with the, like, a bargain copy, but whatever. Um, this book is a uh vlad the impaler retelling but gender swapped so vlad the impaler is a female um i'm super excited to read this everyone has just raved about it everyone loves this book um so yeah so i'm just super excited to get to it it's really dark um it's a really epic fantasy the sequel i think like just came out a few months ago maybe correct me if i'm wrong i don't know i'm really excited for it though i feel like i'm gonna say i'm really excited for like all of these but whatever, whatever. Um, so the next book that I am seeing in here is Obsidian and Stars by Julie Eshbaugh. Um, this is the sequel to Ivory and Bone, which is a prehistoric uh, Pride and Prejudice retelling, I guess. That's what it's marketed as. When I read it, that's not really the reading that I got, but... Um, it was weird, it was quirky, I enjoyed it. Um, I didn't know it was getting a sequel. Was it supposed to have a sequel? I thought it was just a standalone. I don't know, this might like... Oh, yep, it's a sequel, but it's told from the other point of view. All right, that's what this is, cool. Oh. Do you see this? Do you... Autographed? What? So this is Leviathan by Scott Westerfeld. Um, I love it, this trilogy. It's a steampunk World War One retelling where um, one side are the Darwinists and they have like fabrications. They have like fabricated creatures and stuff. And the other side is like, they're called the Clankers um, in this world. I couldn't remember that for a second. Um, and it's just, it's middle grade. It's a lot of fun. It's super unique. I've never read anything like it. Um, and it's one of my favorite book series of all time. And I lent my, one of my brothers my copy of Leviathan and he lost it. So I needed to reorder it. So I reordered it and I didn't know it was signed. Oh my God, this is such a cool surprise. I'm so happy. Wow, that's so cool. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm so happy. That kind of makes up for Andi Dark and not having its dust jacket. The next book is Ruined by Amy Tintera. I have no idea. Um, I just I remember hearing a lot about this and I remember this was really popular a couple years ago when it came out. Um, I know the sequel is now on also, is also on Book Outlet. Um, let's see what it's about. Emelina Flores has nothing. Her home in Ruina has been ravaged by war. She lacks the powers of her fellow ruined. Worst of all, she witnessed her parents' brutal murders and watched helplessly as her sister Olivia was kidnapped. But because Em has nothing, she has nothing to lose. Driven by a blind desire for revenge, Em sets off on a dangerous journey to the enemy kingdom of Lara. Somewhere within Lara's borders, Em hopes to find Olivia, 
but in order to find her, M must infiltrate the royal family. Oh, I kind of remember this now. No, this sounds super cool. Um, fantasy. I love fantasy, if you can't tell. Um, so yeah, so I'm really excited to get to this. Actually, I might read this this week. Um, we'll see. Um, uh, so next we have Black Widow Red Vendance by Margaret Stoll. Um, so I really wanted to read, I think this is the second one. And so, yeah, this is the second one, which I did not mean to order. I meant to order the first one. I'm, I'm not going to read the flap. I have no idea what it's about. I just know the first one is about, is about, uh, Black Widow from the Avengers. And I love her character in the Avengers. She's like, she's my favorite Avenger. Um, and so, of like the OG Avengers, Black Panther is the best Avenger. Um, but like, yeah, so I really, so I'll need to pick up the first one before I can get to this one, but oops. <laughs> That's the danger of book outlet. <laughs> um, okay, so next I have Love and Other Foreign Words by Erin McKayen, I think is how you say her name. Um, this is a book that I read a long time ago. I remember enjoying it, um, and I studied a lot of linguistics in college, and I remember this was kind of linguistics-y vaguely in like a high school sense. Um, and so I saw it on there for 99 cents. I thought it would be really cool to pick it up and give it a reread with what I know now about linguistics and about language, so yeah. Um, what else? Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, this is like fucked up. All right. That's shitty. Do you, can you like see this? Like, it's like, it's like all messed up. Oh. Um, but this is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. This is the Kale novella, I think is how you say his name. I honestly haven't read past the second Roan of Glass book. Um, I've been meaning to. I own all of the ones that are out except for Assassin's Blade. I own them all. Um, I just haven't gotten around to reading them. I've heard really, really mixed things about them. And so I'm super hesitant to pick them up. But we'll see. I'll probably get to them eventually. Um, but I don't know that I'll get to them anytime soon. I'll probably wait until the very last one comes out and then just do like... A big huge long marathon but we'll see but this says it's the barnes and noble special edition so like what about it makes it special oh there's an annotated chapter that's cool i like that i like when chapters are annotated oh there's notes what is it I was just playing. I like when chapters are annotated. I like getting a view into the author's mind. So I think that's cool. Um, I'm kind of sad about the dust jacket though. This has been a rough haul for dust jackets. <laughs> um, and the very last thing that I see in here is the selection coloring book. Uh, if you have watched my Vine book tag, you know that I love the selection series. I think it's super fun. Um, it's kind of my guilty pleasure read. And so I saw this on Book Outlet, and I've really wanted this for a long time. I like kept adding it to my Book Outlet cart and then like getting rid of it and then re-adding it and then getting rid of it. Um, but I finally just bit the bullet and I picked it up. Um, and it's super pretty. Like, like this cover is beautiful. Like it's all like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like metallic-y. And like the pictures are really cute. Like, um, like this one, I don't know if you can read what it says, but it says maybe it's not the first kisses that are supposed to be special. Maybe it's the last ones, which is a quote that I really liked from the books. Um, so yeah, so I don't really color that much, but I kind of wanted to get into it. Oh, this one says, darling, you're perfect. Oh, that's so cute. I love these books so much. 
Um, but yeah, so I think this is gonna be really fun. I will probably take this home with me when I travel back to Michigan um, and I'll probably, like, probably do some on the plane um, just cause like it's a long journey back to Michigan. So that is going to be it for today's book haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, um, be sure to thumbs up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my content. If you want to follow me on social media, all of my links are in the down bar below. And so until next time, bye. I've not seen the boring fields in so long, I know.